Uh, welcome to this session where we want to look at this question. So this question is drawn from one of the past exam papers of uh, Examinations Council of Zambia. Yeah. So we, this question comes from a topic called trigonometry. So we want to see how we can uh, solve this question. Okay. We want to see how we can solve this question. So let's do it together. In Votan constituents, A, B, and C are polling stations as shown below, okay? We have A, B, and C there. Then we are supposed to calculate these. Okay, we are supposed to calculate. We start with angle uh, B, A, C. Angle B, A, C is this angle here. Angle B, A, C is this angle here. And we are going to use when you are given all the three sides. When you are given all the three sides, we are going to be using cosine rule. So cosine rule would be cos the angle at A is equals to the other two letters, which is B squared my plus C squared minus A over 2BC. Okay, we need to get these measurements here. Now, when we talk about B, it's this side here that is opposite B. That is going to be 43 squared plus uh, C squared. Uh, again, that is going to be 43. Okay, then minus that 7 squared over 2 multiplied by 43 multiplied by 43. Okay, so when you punch cos A, when you punch this whole thing here on your calculator, when you work out this thing on your calculator, what are you going to be getting? So you, you may want to pause the video and then uh, punch it on your calculator. Let's see what you're getting. All right. Are you going to be getting something like 0 0.629, 0 0.629, or uh, 7, 9, 9, 8, 9, 1? Is that what you're going to be getting? Now, take note that what we want here is the value of the angle. So we are going to be remaining with a... Uh, BAC is equals to cos uh, inverse, okay? Cos inverse, then we say of this same thing here, uh, 2979918199. When you press this on your calculator, please, what are you getting? Mine is giving me 51 degrees. I'm getting 51 degrees. What are you getting? Uh, what are you getting? So basically, this is uh, what we are supposed to get for the first uh, angle. So this angle here is 51 degrees. I hope you've taken note of that. That is uh, 51 degrees there. <clears throat> 51 degrees there. Now let's look at the, the second question. Okay. Let's look at the second question. We see what we're going to get. Uh, what are they asking us to do on the second question? What are they asking us to do on the second question? Uh, we expect such questions in our exams. I think this is from 2015 past paper, if you can find it, not GCE. Is it GCE? No, no not GCE. Yeah, 2015, you'll be able to find this question there. Okay, now when we come to the second question, they're asking us to find uh, angle ACB. Angle ACB is this now, this angle here. Okay, 
So what we can do to find this angle at this point now, we can use sine rule. So sine rule, we can be already saying, okay, so we have sine C, the angle at C is what they want. Then here we'll put the side for C. Please take note that if the actually C can be on top, then the angle down is still the same thing. And there's no difference here. Then now we'll get this side where we have an angle and the opposite side. So we'll say sine A over A. I said these small letters, they can be on top. That will be fine. You will still be able to get the same answer. What am I trying to say? You can have C, then you say sine uh, C here is equals to uh, A over uh, sine A. This will lead you to the same point. All right. So if we can go with the second one, C, what is the side for C? You have 43 over the angle here, sine C is what we want. Then A is 37 over sine what? Sine 51. So when you cross multiply here, ladies and gentlemen, you will be having sine C uh, multiplied by 37 is equals to 43 multiplied by sine 51. Okay, so to get sine C, you have to say 43 multiplied by sine 51, then divided by 37. All right, I'll go down with this. If you want, you can simplify it at this point, but take note what we want is the angle here. What we want is the angle. I hope I'm not uh, skipping some stages that. Uh, so you have A, C, B. This is equals to, I'm going to be saying sine inverse of this whole thing here. Four, uh, three multiplied by sine 51 over 37. When we find the inverse of this one, what are we going to be getting? That's what we want to do. We can go to our calculators and uh, do that job. I hope we'll be having the same answer. Okay, so we have uh, a shift, then sign. We have, uh, what do we have here? So we have 43 multiplied by sign. 51 over 37. So this now gives me 64.6 degrees. Okay, I'm getting 0.4. I don't know what others are getting. So for me, uh, what I'm getting is... Uh, 50, 64.6 degrees. This is what we are getting for that angle there. Is that okay? Are we together? I think uh, now this takes us to the next question. This takes us to the next question. So, this is a 64.6 degrees. Now we need to calculate the what? The area of uh, this triangle. The area of this triangle, you know we can use the formula. In this case, we can say um, area is equals to half. Then what do we say? We say BC, then sine. A, all right? This is the formula that we can use here. Now, when we go to the question, you will discover that our A, I mean, our B is 43, our C is 43, the angle at A is 50. So I just want to convert this into 0 0.5 multiplied by 43, multiplied by 43, multiplied by sine 
the angle there is 51. We just have now to punch this on our calculators and get the answer. When you punch that one, you will get uh, 0 0.5 multiplied, multiplied by 43 uh, squared. Then you multiply this by a uh, sine uh, 51. When you put here, this is you multiply this by sine 51. That is going to give you 718.47. All right. Now, when you want to write this to three significant figures, this is going just to end up as uh, one, uh, I mean, 718. All right, kilometers squared. This is our area here. Okay. That's what we are supposed to do. Then now we are being asked to, to find the shortest distance from C, the shortest distance from C to AB. The shortest distance from C to AB this is how we are supposed to find it here. We are supposed to say uh, the shortest distance. So we use the area formula, which is area is equals to one over two BH. Area, we have found it here, seven, uh, one. Then this is equals to 0 0.5, if you like. Then our base is 43 there. Then this is equal. I mean, multiplied by height. Height is the shortest distance here. Height is what we want. So we'll go down and say height is equals to uh, 718 divided by these ones, these two. You multiply them first of all. You multiply them. What do you get? So divided by 0 0.5 multiplied by 43. When you multiply, when you do that, you need to know what exactly you'll be getting. All right. So we can do that and say, so I have seven, eight, one, eight over 0 0.5 multiplied by 43. What are we going to get? So this is going to be giving us that H, which is the shortest distance, is 33.395. Uh, you have some numbers here. When you want to write these two, three significant figures as the instructions state in the exam, that would be 3.4 uh, kilometers, 33.4 kilometers. The 3.4 kilometers, this is what we are going to have as our answer. I hope you've picked this one. All right, yeah. So if you want, uh, we are able to conduct lessons just like I'm doing this. We're able to do these live lessons where we are interacting together. You can uh, uh, send a message on WhatsApp to this number, then we can have a conversation. Or you can as well send to this one. Mr. Piri. Okay. Yeah, then we can be of help. That is if we, we are satisfied with the way we have handled this lesson. Otherwise, thank you very much.